This is Dylan Moses at the age of 15 years old on the cover of an ESPN magazine. And on the cover it displayed saying that Dylan Moses stood at 6 foot 1, 215 pounds, ran a 446 40 yard dash, and held offers from LSU, Alabama, and Texas. This magazine really made people think that Dylan Moses was going to be the next great college football linebacker and was going to be a for sure no matter what first round pick in whatever NFL draft he would go to. But a few years later in the 2021 NFL draft, Dylan Moses did not hear his name called and went undrafted. This is B. Kelly back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about what happened to Dylan Moses. It did not take the college football world long to realize that Dylan Moses was a freak athlete. Just before entering 8th grade, he was offered by LSU and became the youngest person ever to be offered by LSU. Dylan, as an 8th grader, would be the youngest person at these college football camps that he would go to, and he would also be one of the best players there, or even the best player at that said camp. Not too long after he got an offer from LSU, he would also get an offer from Nick Saban and Alabama. And following that, he would get offers from schools such as Texas, Florida, Florida State, Nebraska, UCLA, and Ole Miss, all by the age of 15. Although the year was 2013 and Dylan Moses was only 15 years old, by that time in his life, he was already seen as a prospect that had unmatched potential and someone that was going to be a beast no matter what and you had to get him on your team and every team in the nation seemed like they were fighting for him. And something insane to think about is that Dylan Moses in his recruiting class was already a top player in his class before even playing in a high school football game. For his high school football career, Dylan Moses would play for two different schools. He would play for University High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, before transferring to IMG Academy for his senior season. In his junior season of high school football at University Lab, he had a big season where he recorded 104 total tackles and three sacks which made him a 2015 second team All-American by MaxPreps.com. As I said a little earlier, for his senior season of high school football, Dylan Moses would play at IMG Academy. And in this season, he had a monster season where he had 116 total tackles, 8 tackles for loss, and 2 sacks. He also had one forced fumble. After a monster senior campaign at IMG Academy, Dylan Moses would add a lot of accolades to his name, such as 2017 Parade Magazine National Player of the Year, 2016 Buckus Award winner, which was given to the nation's top high school linebacker, 2017 First Team Parade All-American, named to the First Team All-USA Squad by USA Today, and also a First Team MaxPreps.com all-American in 2016. Now, knowing how great of a high school football career Dylan Moses had and how he's been getting recruited since he was literally in 8th grade, it should come as no surprise that Dylan Moses had a total of 40 offers coming out of high school. Some of his most notable offers were Alabama, LSU, Auburn, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Miami, Michigan, Nebraska, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Ohio State, OU, Ole Miss, Oregon, Penn State, and Texas, just to name a few. In the 2017 recruiting class, Dylan Moses was seen as a top player in his class, as he was a five-star recruit, number 13 player nationally, and the number two outside linebacker in the nation, according to 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. With his college football recruitment, when it was all said and done, he would ultimately go to Alabama after originally being committed to LSU. And for his whole recruitment, the two schools that were on him the earliest were the two schools that had the best shot at him, and that was Alabama and LSU. In his first season at Alabama in his freshman campaign in the 2017 college football season, Dylan Moses would play quite a bit even though he was more in a backup linebacker role. He did play in 11 games this season, making two starts where he had 30 total tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, 
one and a half sacks, one forced fumble, and one interception. During his freshman campaign as well, he was also named to the SEC All-Freshman Team. Now, a lot of people are ready for the future after seeing what Dylan Moses can do, and they are imagining what he can do with a bigger role on the defense and being one of the key factors of that Alabama Crimson Tide defense while trying to compete for a national title. Alabama fans were hyped, and so was the college football world, as they knew after this season, they would see more of Dylan Moses and what he was about. In his sophomore campaign in the 2018 college football season, Dylan Moses truly showed the college football world what he was about, as in 15 games, he had 86 total tackles, 10 tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks, and 1 forced fumble. After this season, Dylan Moses would earn second team All-American recognition from Walter Camp, selected as an All-SEC second team honoree by the league's coaches, and was a finalist for the Buckus Award, which was given to the nation's top linebacker. With the rate that Dylan Moses was going and progressing throughout his college football career so far at Alabama in just two seasons, there, it was really shaping to look like that Dylan Moses could go pro just after his junior campaign, and everybody was expecting him to have a junior season where he could even win the Buckus Award and be one of the best defensive players in the nation and potentially be an early round pick in the next NFL draft. But unfortunately, before the 2019 season could even begin, Dylan Moses tore his ACL and would miss that entire season. Dylan Moses in the 2020 college football season, coming off his torn ACL from the season prior, would have a good season as the captain of the Alabama Crimson Tide's defense. As in 12 games played, he had 76 total tackles, 6 tackles for loss, 1 sack, one interception, and one forced fumble. After this season, Dylan Moses earned first team All-America honors by AFCA, second team All-America selection by CBS Sports, named a third team All-American by the Associated Press, and was Mayo Clinic Comeback Player of the Year. For as good as everything seemed in his comeback season from his torn ACL, there was a lot that was going on with Dylan Moses behind the scenes. Dylan Moses revealed that he thought about quitting football entirely in 2020. Everyone went through a lot in 2020, but Moses went through a lot both mentally and physically. With the mental sides of things, he had the uncertainty of if the season would go on or not, or even if it would be played at all, or if it would be canceled. Just that uncertainty and losing his grandmother to the virus that was spreading all across the world and taking thousands of lives. Now on the physical sides of things, Dylan Moses revealed that he played every game hurt and he was not fully recovered from his ACL injury and that he had to fight pain through every game. Dylan Moses would declare his name for the 2021 NFL Draft where he was projected as a day three pick where he could be picked all the way from the fourth round to the seventh round and even maybe go undrafted. Dylan Moses would end up going undrafted in the 2021 NFL Draft and shortly thereafter he would end up signing with Jacksonville. Now the big reason why Dylan Moses went undrafted in the 2021 NFL Draft was primarily because of his health. NFL teams did not question Dylan Moses work ethic and how his ability actually was. Everyone knows that Dylan Moses has a lot of potential and could be a very, very big factor on many defenses in the NFL once he gets fully healthy. But the thing a lot of NFL teams worry about is when will he be healthy and if he will ever be healthy. In my opinion, I think Dylan Moses probably should have been drafted in the 7th round or 6th round. I know his health was in question due to his ACL injury all the way back in 2019 and how he basically played through an entire season hurt. But something that I will say, I think Dylan Moses has all the potential to be a very good linebacker and is one of the best undrafted free agents from this past draft class. I believe if Dylan Moses can return back to his fully healthy self, just like he was before his ACL injury in 2019, that you will hear a lot about him on Sundays in the NFL. 
Well guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>